Hey everyone, Alex here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fill out and submit your eight count sheets in the new Level Music control room. I'm also going to fill you in on some recommendations that will help make your mix the best it can possibly be. So let's go ahead and sign into our control room. Once inside, you're going to select the mix that you plan on submitting your counts for. In previous videos, we have been working in the full original X mix for Team Cuts. So let's continue getting them set up. As you can see, our information we uploaded is still saved. And now we are going to head on over and click on the 8 count tab, which will open up our digital 8 count sheets. You are about to find out how easy and convenient these sheets are. No more paper, no more pen, no more crossing things out or having to start over. These are designed to eliminate all those problems and make your life as a cheer coach better than it's ever been. So let's get started. The first thing you'll notice is that line one is already filled out as your intro. This line is to be used as your five, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, depending on your choreography. Line two should be where the first full eight count begins. You can still edit line one, but only utilize it if you need it as an intro that is not a full eight count. To start filling out your sheets, all you have to do is click on the box and type in what's happening during that count. It's truly that simple. So let's keep going. On the left side of the sheet, you will list what section it is. And this is our opening. I'll show you how quickly and effortlessly I can fill these out. So here's a standing tumbling section. Next we'll transition. And finally, we will build a stunt. Now, all eight counts aren't created equal. The more detailed you are about certain things, the better the producer can fully customize your mix. Here are some recommendations on how you can best fill out your count sheets. Be as specific as possible. Let it be what's going on in the routine, or maybe you want a voiceover to hit on a certain count. Let us know your vision so we can do our best to make it come to life. Instead of just typing hit, let us know what's going on. Let us know what type of motion it is, such as a high V, or what type of stunt position is being hit. On the same note, make sure you mark exactly where something hits. With all different types of release stunts, this becomes incredibly helpful with things such as TikToks. It's extremely helpful to know when they dip, when the switch happens, and when the actual stunt hits. Also, be very aware of your routine's time limit. Making sure you are easily within your limit will prevent multiple issues we might run into down the road, including costly reconstructions or delay of production. Here's a quick guide regarding routine lengths. At 147 beats per minute, a 1 minute 30 routine should end on count 1 of line 27. A 2 minute routine should end on count 1 of line 37. And a 2 and a half minute routine should end on count 1 of line 47. Being a few counts over isn't the worst case scenario, and if your more advanced team can handle the increase in tempo to fit it under the time limit, going an 8 count over is doable but not recommended. You can also consider ending your routine 1 to 2 8 counts earlier if you have a younger, more novice team who can then benefit from us being able to slow it down. The final thing you should keep in mind is to triple check for accuracy. Cheer mixes can be highly tailored to your routine. And once it's constructed to a particular routine, it's difficult to change that structure. To avoid any unwanted fees down the road, make sure the count sheets are on point and that they also match any videos. Discrepancies between the count sheets and the video may result in the delay of production. Once you're at the end of the count sheets, you will signal what count your last motion hits on. If you'd like a specific voiceover to end your routine, definitely let us know as well. 
Now, for the crown jewel of these sheets. If you're filling out your counts and you realize you may have skipped or repeated a line, you have the ability to fix that by clicking on the Add Delete button. Just like an Excel spreadsheet, you now have the option to simply add or remove rows. You have the option to either remove the row that you clicked on, or you can add a row directly before the row that you clicked on. We're going to go ahead and remove line 4. And since I'm not done with my count sheets yet, I am going to continue working and save later. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to do that again, but this time I'm going to add the row back. And then refill the counts. When finished and triple checked, you will click the save button and the successful update notification will appear when it has been saved. It will automatically log the date and time of each update, which will be useful if multiple coaches have access to the same count sheets. Now say you need your count sheets for practice, or you would like to give copies to other coaches, but you don't want to have to log into the control room and keep it open every time. Well, you're in luck. You can download a printable PDF version of your control room info. If you click on the Download PDF tab, it will first ask if you would like any changes to appear in red on the PDF. If I was submitting an edit request, I'd select yes, but since this is my first version, I'm going to select no and download. You will now have a printable version of everything you've submitted into the control room, including your project information, project notes, your song list, and filled out eight count sheets that have your team name, program name, and which version it is. One final detail is that once you've submitted your count sheets, the first circle under Files will appear blue, indicating that the accounts have been submitted for this portal. And that is how you fill out and submit your count sheets in the new Level Music control room. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you back soon.